UNM Colleges Against Cancer, or CAC, is a group sponsored by the American Cancer Society. It brings together students, faculty, and staff, all in the name of working toward eliminating cancer. We're talking about it this morning. Finding out what they are up to, we have Megan Mays, the president of UNM's Colleges Against Cancer group, and Jordan Dottenham. The UNM Relay for Life Team Recruitment Director. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for Good coming morning. in. Thank you. Okay, Thank so you. see, the idea sounds simple enough. It's Colleges Against Cancer. It's a bunch of college students fighting cancer, right? Right. So we are sponsored by American Cancer Society, and they actually have created a network all over the nation um, for college students to participate in Colleges Against Cancer. And there's schools like Notre Dame, um, UCLA, who have huge, huge uh, networks there for the cancer community as well as fundraising and Relay for Life. So how big is the group here at UNM then? We have about 25 people on the okay. committee right now. So that's just the committee though. But, oh, okay. But we have all kinds of different um, organizations who sign up as teams and mm -hmm. stuff. One of our biggest this year were the Phi Delta Thetas. Um, which Jordan is actually a member of that fraternity um, and they helped us out a lot but but each of these teams they fundraise and then come to our event and support us at that event. Now Jordan so you're very much involved with the Relay for Life mm -hmm. huge event how many people you get involved with that with the uh, um, sororities and fraternities and just other students? There's not very many fraternities and sororities on our campus so we try to get everyone to join participate yeah. about 50 people in each each organization so what we try to do is like I would go talk to them in their chapter meetings and get them to participate, which they did. It was awesome. Um, trying to get my fraternity to participate, which they did. They did a lot, uh, yeah. They did a lot. They were one of the main people to help, and it was, it was pretty, pretty good. Okay, and I remember being in college. Like, you're really busy. You got college, you got studying, you have jobs on the side, you have all of this stuff. I mean, how do you find it in... in time in your schedules and why is it why is it important for you to be involved in an organization um, for me, like this? I'm actually a cancer survivor myself. Um, I had liver cancer when I was an infant and I went to UNM Children's Hospital and they took really good care of me and along the whole journey of you know growing up with a health problem and something like that um, American Cancer Society, as, lo as well as UNM Hospital, did everything. They helped me, they helped my family, yeah. and not only financially, but they really created that, that community and that support network, which, you know, if I have the chance to give back, I will. Absolutely. What about you, Jordan? How'd you get involved? I got involved last year. The recruitment came through my dorm, and I decided, hey, I want to make a difference. Mm -hmm. So I actually started from 6 o'clock to 6 a.m. Like 6 p.m., 6 a.m. I did the whole time. I was okay. the only person in my group to do it. With the Relay for Life mm -hmm. you're talking about. That's awesome. It was okay. amazing. So obviously uh, the money that you all raise, as you talked about it, it goes for very, very good causes. It helps people with cancer and their families. You have an event coming up that everybody can get involved in, whether you're at UNM or not. We're going to talk about that, what, in an hour? Yes. Yeah, a, a fun run, a dirty run. It's called the Dirty Dash. The Dirty Dash. Okay, stick around. We're going to find out more about how you can get involved with that, have some fun with some young men and women. To find out more about Colleges Against Cancer, head to our website, casa.com.